Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners and today is going to be a quick little video and we're going to be talking about the things to get before they're no longer on the shelves and well, we all know how that's going, right? I mean, you've been paying attention to the news. Maybe not. Well, you've probably been on your social media. I'm sure you've seen it on there. I mean, it's all over the place. It doesn't matter if it's on the news, or social media, even CNN, wherever. It comes up on your phone. This is a real thing, folks. This is a real issue. This is a real problem. There's a lot of different things that are going on. So you want to make sure that you start stocking up on some of these things I'm going to talk about and making sure that you do have plenty because the store shelves are emptying out and they're emptying out pretty quick. First off, you want to start with your canned goods. You want to make sure that you're going and stocking up on any canned goods that you can find in the stores if there's anything left in the stores. You know, from your green beans, peas, corns, carrots, whatever, potatoes, all these different kind of canned goods you want to start stocking up on. You also want to incorporate in there with those canned goods is canned meats. Make sure that you're trying to score some canned hams, uh, spam, um, roast beef, uh, they have pulled pork, they have chicken, get tuna fish, get whatever you can get. This way you can still make a lot of different meals. You want to start incorporating dry goods also. These things are going off the shelf quick. If you haven't been watching my videos like I've stated and in my Walmart videos, how the store shelves are just shrinking, folks. All right, so you need to be trying to get your rice and your beans and your pastas and your flours and sugar and all this kind of stuff, salt, all this kind of stuff. You need to try to get what you can and put it up and put it away for a rainy day because the rain is coming, all right? I don't know if you got a bucket big enough to you know, get all the water out of your boat as you're sinking because you're not prepared. Right. Use that bucket to make sure that you can put your food and store it away and put it in that bucket. And this way here, it'll float. At least if your ship sinks. You get what I'm saying? You also need to be really taking in consideration your pets. Pet food right now is on a very high demand and a lot of stores don't have it. Alright, so you got to try to figure out some way to feed your pets, something to feed your pets. A lot of pets are on special diets. A lot of pets have to have special foods. Well, those foods just aren't available right now. So getting those type of foods, if you see them, you need to buy them. If you see them online, if you see them in the stores or whatever else, if it's a special food that your dog or cat or whatever animal you have, if it has to have that, then that's what you need to buy and put up for them too. All right? They're part of your family, correct? All right? You also need to be looking at all your different types of paper products, toilet paper, paper towels, paper plates, whatever it may be. All right? You got to make sure that you do have soap, soap for doing dishes, soap for your laundry, soap to take a shower, shampoos, toothpaste, toothbrushes, all this different types of stuff. It's There's a whole list of stuff that goes into being prepared for a disastrous type situation like what we're in now. You, you want to make sure that you're avoiding the chaos in the stores and you want to make sure that you're getting these goods. Okay, folks, it is so critically important that you are doing this. It is so very important. You have to make sure that you're buying whatever you may need. Right down to motor oil for your car or transmission fluid, extra light bulbs for the house, batteries for flashlights. Whatever it is, you have to prepare like you're going to war, folks, and you don't know what the outcome is going to be because we don't know. We can only plan and prepare and be ready. So you got to get prepared is the name of the game. These things that I have listed off, you need to try to get these things before they're no longer even on the shelves. There may not even be a sticker on there where it used to be. Because the things that we need are going away and all the crap we don't want is taking its place. And that's just the way it is, folks. We don't have control over it. This is what they're dealing us. So we have to take the cards that we've been dealt and turn it into a roll of flush so we survive. Understand? 
Okay. So the biggest thing is, is you all got to get out there and get these things that I've talked about before they're no longer on the shelves. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. Thank you for all that you do for my channel. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Thank you.